didn't they? They scored big time, Lainey. <laughs> yeah, great weather. We wish it would last, right? But today is good. Tomorrow we're going to be more humid and we do have a chance for some rain back in the forecast. So hopefully you did get out and enjoy today. Low humidity, low temperatures, bit of a haze out there you see in downtown Graham. You probably noticed that as well. Have some smoke in the air. We've got 81 right now in Greensboro and 83 in Winston-Salem. The temperatures are in the low 80s across much of the area. And then look at the sea of 70s over the foothills. This is nice. 79 in Pilot Mountain, 78 in North Wilkesboro and 70 in Galax. Our humidity down in that 40% range across the triad. It goes up some as we travel up toward the mountains and those dew points are a little higher above 60. So starting to increase some of the humidity and that's the weather story tonight and into tomorrow. We'll start to see those levels climb back up and that'll make room for not only more clouds, but also a better chance for a few showers. Got a couple of them right now kind of been dying out as they've moved into our area, but we've got a spotty shower chance in the mountains and foothills for this evening. I think it'll stay dry across the triad. Good night for baseball. Winston Salem Dash at home at 7 o'clock. Not too hot. Temps near 80 in the beginning and dipping down into the mid 70s. Later on, you'll notice some of that moisture kind of coming in out of Tennessee as well as Kentucky. And as I mentioned, a lot of that moisture kind of dying out as it moves into our area. Something that did kind of creep in from the east is the wildfire smoke today. It was forecast to be a little bit higher to our east toward Raleigh. We're not in a high zone by any stretch. We've got moderate air quality right now, but some of that haze you see is smoke and we're going to see some of that trending through our area overnight. And then during the day tomorrow, we're looking for especially across the triad to not only have clouds, but also have some of that haze and that'll continue even into Friday morning. Now, none of this brings us into the unhealthy levels, but yeah, that Canadian smoke is still out there and depending on the wind direction, we do have it coming through our area. Another thing we're watching is this flow here kind of coming up and over a ridge and then dipping down into our area. So we're going to see kind of waves of energy move along that we can track them by sort of picking up these energy pockets here and shading them in for you to see mid-level winds. This is what will be happening during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, there's uh, an environment for a little bit of a lift, so we could have some showers kind of squeezed out in the morning. As we go into the afternoon, we're looking for that as well. More intense, a little bit farther to the south and to the west. Now, as we move into Friday, we're also watching this area to see if that will track in too. So it's kind of difficult because any little shift in what's happening all the way through our atmosphere can change those rain chances pretty drastically, but we're doing our best here. We've got about a 40% chance, I think, coverage tomorrow in the triad higher in the mountains 60 percent coverage it looks like right now for friday we may have to adjust that it looks like we will have a front come through over the weekend so we'll have less of a rain chance over the weekend tomorrow morning the temperatures start off in the low 60s in the mountains mid 60s tomorrow morning in the triad so yeah we're already starting to see some of that humid air returning we're up to about 78 tomorrow afternoon that's right, 78 degrees is our high tomorrow. That's mainly because of the cloud cover, also that chance for some showers, and we may have some isolated thunder, but we're not talking about strong to severe storm risks across our area in the coming days. It's mainly going to be passing showers. 75 in the foothills tomorrow, that rain chance is up at about 50%, and for the mountains, a 70% chance, I think, of rain tomorrow. That's because you're a little closer to what we were just talking about, those waves that are coming into our area. Wyndham Championship for the first round on Thursday. Make sure you have your rain gear tomorrow. You may need it kind of off and on. High temperature about 78. And then for Friday, we also have some showers likely, so bring the rain gear. It heats up. Notice we've got some 80s in the forecast again, and it gets a little more humid heading into a weekend. Small rain chances, small rain chances next week, but higher heat and higher humidity. Lanny, thank you. One final check on traffic. We've looked good.